And good evening. We are live. Greetings and welcome back, everyone, to Get in the Trenches, Episode 2. My name is Gary Parker, National Sales Manager here at Watts, and we hope you had a great Memorial Day weekend with your families. We're able to unwind a little bit from all the craziness in the world. Uh, good news to report, we had a great time last week and had a lot of viewers, so we're excited to get back in the trenches tonight and feature some new topics uh, a few twists and turns for the contestants, and we want to shake them up a little bit for you. So if you're a first-time viewer, just some basic rules of the road. Uh, we make this very easy, 15 minutes of quick-hitting industry-related information for you guys on various Watts products and solutions. And we combine it with a healthy dose of sarcasm, uh, healthy enough to break up the grind of the day. And your goal is to root for one of your favorite contestants, one of these handsome gentlemen to my left-hand side over there and keep track of who wins each episode. You do that, spend 15 minutes of your time with us and we'll be able to reward your attendance for some Watt swag at the end of the season. Our goal is to keep your organization up to speed on our new products and solutions and provide you a forum that lets you have a voice inside our company. So that said, if you have any questions after the broadcast, we'll open the lines up for additional Q&A and we'll provide all of the contact information so you want to do a deeper dive on anything in particular that we discussed tonight. Uh, if you weren't with us last week, so you didn't get a chance to properly meet the contestants, but we'll go through them one more time. Let's see who we got in the trenches this evening. From the steel city of Pittsburgh, a man who can eradicate Legionella anywhere on the planet, Mr. Todd McCurdy, say hello. Hello, everybody. Happy you joining us, and uh, let's have some fun. All right. Next up is the guy who should have been in the Smart Talk commercial during the Super Bowl, Mr. Mark Parent. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Welcome, everybody. Glad uh, you're back here tonight, and if you're tuning in for the first time, you're in for a real treat. All right. And last but not least, a man who never met a bottle of wine he didn't like, Mr. Colin Marshall. Hey, welcome everybody. Tonight will be fun. Be good to enlist right. some revenge on uh, Mr. Parent. Absolutely. You're going down. <laughs> They're ready to dive in, folks. So we'll get in the trenches and see what tonight's categories are. Remember, everything we're discussing is Watts Water industry related products or solutions. And uh, could be general construction information, could be, um, could be some surprises that we got in store for the guests tonight here. Let's see what we got. Going old school with the true false category. We've got general designs and picture this. Picture this. Wonder what that could be. And I checked the coin toss. Mr. McCurdy, you won this week, sir. Excellent. So I want to go with our new category this week. And I'm going to go a little middle of the road conservative. Let's go picture this for 200. 200. So we got. Picture this. What is it, Todd? Oh, that would be our Watt Century system. Let's see if he's right here. That is the Century Alert system. But, you know, I felt like you could have elaborated a little bit more, Todd. We're looking for the Century Alert system that is available in four options. You can get the Cadillac version, which is the complete ACV backflow smart and connected device and sensor, or you can get it just by the smart and connected device by itself or any combination therein. So that's what we were looking for here. I'm going to go 180 on that one, my friend. 180. Hey, Tom, I'm just trying to respect your 15 minute time limit, Gary. <laughs> I, got, I got two things to say to you, Todd. You either, you either are sandbagging. Because you know that category well. Are you in with, are you in with your host this week? Something's going on. <laughs> you got to win, buddy, somehow. Well, I, I know what it feels like to win, so hang, hang tight. <laughs> Keep them up. Keep them up, boys. Mr. Parent, the board is yours. Well, I'm going to go, uh, let me see, designs for 300. Yeah. One big money, designs for 300. How do I determine which type of backflow preventer I need from Watts backflow category? Uh, well, I think it's really dependent upon whether it's a uh, critical uh, situation or not. 
Um, you can have a, a non-critical or critical situation. That's going to depend on whether you need a, uh, you know, a reduced pressure backflow or, or just a standard double check. Come on. Let's go, Mark. Determine the type of hazard the valve will protect against. Is it a high threat or health hazard? Will the valve protect the water supply from something that will cause illness or death? Or will it protect against objectionable material that is not harmful? It's a mouthful. I'm going to award you 250. It seemed like you were going on a diatribe there for a little bit. 250. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Gary. Come on, Colin. You know what? I'm going to go simple. Simple answers. I'm a simple guy. I'm going to go for true false for 300. I like that. An honest man. I like that. There you go. Intellistations require a specific kind of circulator. What are we looking for here? I'm going to say false. And the reason why is because you can use just about any type of circulator as long as it's size for the system. I like that. Short and sweet, Colin. It is false. And uh, there are a wide range of circulators which can be used, but circulator sizing is a factor of the building needs not the Intel station design. Full 300, well done. And Todd, you got some catching up to do, buddy. You're at 180. It's done, Mr. Parent, right there. See that? All right, so I like the way Colin's going. I'm gonna go true, false for 200. True, false for two. Oh, uh -oh. man. Big money, uh -oh. big money. Daily double, let's see what we have in store behind true, false here. Oh, it's a double, double trick. What year was Watts founded? Let's see if Mr. McCurdy, the well-traveled man, knows the answer here. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna any points go, there? How, how accurate do I have to be? Within a, within a decade. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be sporting within a decade. Within a decade. All right, so let's go with um, 1936. Oh my God. Can we steal? He's, Can we uh, steal? A off. Can we steal? You want to steal? Yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you. <laughs> just, just a little off, Todd. Frankly, I'm uh, a little surprised there, buddy. Joseph Watts founded Watts Water Technologies in 1874. Just a couple of decades before that, Todd. Did you specify the number of decades, though? <laughs> Let it go, man. Let it go. I'm trying. I'm We're trying. On. All right. So I'm going to say that's a big zero. And Colin, you're going to get 20 just because you made me laugh on that one. <laughs> All right. Mr. Parent, board is yours, sir. Uh, let's close out true and false for 100. Let's see what we got here. True or false, water quality systems only remove dissolved minerals. That's false. Uh, you know, there's also other options or solutions. You know, they uh, you know, they remove things like organic materials or, you know, UV filters or sanitation. Sorry. <laughs> Don't take points away from my. All right. Coming in with the teacher's edition answer there, I'm going to give you 75 because that was straight out of the Q&A book there. Uh... <laughs> Whoops. I can't get I, I can't give you the full one hundred. You read that verbatim off the off the cheat sheet. So seventy five. Colin well, told me to put the answers to to the side of me. Right, next time I'm going to put them in the front. <laughs> better than that. Be better than that. All right, Colin, with a commanding lead. I'm going to go for picture this for a hundred. Picture this for a hundred. Now, I know this isn't your forte, but you should be able to get this in the Watts world here. What do you got? Tic-tac-toe. No. My, uh, God. My God, man. That is um, the dead level system, I believe, I think. It's a drain of some sort. And the yearbook answer is that is the Watts dead level trench drain system. And for 50 extra points, can that be installed by one person? Yes, question mark. All right, let's see. It's ideal solution when needing to maintain a level exposed surface while enabling the necessary slope for proper drainage. 
Watts dead level is actually pretty helpful, uh, can be installed by a couple of guys or even one person if they're knowledgeable enough. I'm going to give you 100, but the yes is going to cost you 20 points backwards. Sorry, Colin. That's all right. That's all right. I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. You're holding your own. T-Mac, we, we need a big one here, buddy. You need to go yeah. for 300, buddy. Yeah, picture this for 300. Here we got. Might be a little hard well, to do, but what do we have there, answers, Gary. So this is our big Bubba water filter. I do. Let's see if he's right here. That is, in fact, a big Bubba water filter. And, you know, these filter housings are made of rugged glass reinforced polypropylene, and they do a fantastic job. Basically, they won't chip, rust, or dent. Um, you know, if you're getting into the microfiltration world, it can do one to 150. Uh, it's been pretty successful in the Watts uh, portfolio. But yeah, you can see it there, one to 150 micron filtration. Um, Todd, the short answer, I liked it. That's 300, buddy. And I get some extra points were... because um, if you had asked me, I would have said all that other stuff too. <laughs> That's cute. I'll give you 10 for cuteness. Because that, that was the said with a smile. How about that? All right, so 310. It's and neck and neck. Else. Neck and neck, Mark. Uh, I got to go designs 200 then. No mercy. Yeah, no mercy. Another Intel Station question. We had a lot last week. Um, how do we choose between Intel Station Senior or Junior by Powers? Oh, boy. Um... I'm going to say it has to do with the, the, you know, one of the main factors is the capacity and flow requirements. How about pipe sizing as well, Mark? Well, sure. Do, do I get more do, do, do. For continuing on? Todd, I'll let you steal it in the whole entire grid here if you can help him out here. You don't size by pipe, you size by capacity. Intellistation Junior and Senior differs depending on the amount of data points that you want, as well as whether or not it's a um, new installation, new construction, or if you're just looking to update your current thermostatic mechanical system to be able to get into the digital game. That, that sounds like 300 points to me, Mark Parent. What do you think? Well, well, Gary, back up now. Wait, I said the key word, capacity. All right. It's a soul of wit. You can give him 10 of my points. That's fine. Thanks. Appreciate you, man. <laughs> All right. Told you this was ready. Ten concession. Ten concession points to Mr. Parent. <laughs> and Mr. Collins. Round it out. I'm not sure what just exploded, but that was funny. <laughs> I think I have a choice. I don't know. We're having a little technical glitch here. I blame aliens. All right. Go ahead, Colin. Design that we've been invaded. To finish out finish the board out. and to win the game. <laughs> How much wire do I need for my electric floor warming system? You need enough wire to cover the open area. So typically you take the open areas of your floor times 90%, and that's approximately how much wire you need to cover that area. Not under built-ins or other things, so it's the open areas where you're walking. All right. Say it with a smile. I am, because I know I'm right. Let's see what he's got. Mat or wire needs to be selected based on the room size or area being heated. Approximately 90% of this area will equal the mat wire needed. That's a fabulous answer. I'm going to go an extra uh, 10 points. That's 110. Let me see. Keep you guys in suspense for a minute. Uh -oh. Actually, Mr. McCurdy, with his extra bonus points, is this evening's winner at 6.15. I thought I was going to lose by the 10 points I gave to Mark. That's what I was afraid of. 
Mark, I'm sorry to say you came in dead last, buddy. Dead last. <laughs> the level of playing field, man. All right. So if you are keeping score, Todd McCurdy is episode two's winner. So please just make a note of that and we will get into any any topics of discussion or any colored commentary we see on the Q&A board. We've got a couple of things on there. But I wanted to put up these fine gentlemen's information and contact if you have any questions regarding some of the things you heard tonight, the big bubble water filtration, how do you select the backflow, the Intel station again, uh, any other topics of interest you're looking for. Um, but if there is anything we can help you guys with, please let us know. And Todd, from the winner's circle, what would you like to say? I feel good. I see what it was like for you last week, Mark, and, um, you know, Colin, keep trying. You know, <laughs> one of these days I'll be like you guys, my heroes. Right there, my heroes. <laughs> All right. So, Colin, you know, you were within 15 points this week, so you're right there, man. You're, like, so close. So close. All right, it's time to say we will sign off. But if you want to stick around and you have any questions, uh, we would love to speak with you guys. Or if you want to reach out to us separately, please let us know. Thanks for getting in the trenches. We'll sign off. Good night.